welcome back to another video of my channel i am kishal i hope you all are doing well welcome back to another podcast of my channel and the reel that you have watched in the beginning of this video the creator of that reel is my today's guest his name is yalla mahanta and he has secured all india rank 24 in gate csc 2024 and his journey has been quite inspirational as you have seen from the reel that he has a good rank in last year gate exam but he didn't get a call from his dream institutions like iisc bangalore and iit bombay and being a student from tier 3 colleges uh, he was not ready to compromise with his dream so this was his final chance to get into these top institutions so that's why he decided to try one more time uh, he quit his job he prepared fully for one more year and this year he secured all india rank 24 in gate csc so his overall journey was very motivational and that's why i have requested him to participate in this podcast and in this podcast we will discuss about his whole journey that what was your motivation to appear for gate uh you know how was his feelings when he was not getting the the dream institutions despite having a good rank last year and how did he prepare for one full year and end up being a gate topper in 2024 so the whole journey i am going to discuss in this particular video so if you want to know detail about it please stay tuned in this video till end and before starting the video as i always say if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other aspirants as well and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the instant notifications without further delay let's get started into the podcast so thank you mahanta for uh, joining uh, this podcast so if you just introduce yourself first hello everyone uh, i am yalla mahant and i am i scored uh, 24th rank in gate 2024 and i will be passing for my mtech at iic bangalore in ai department and thank you kerry sir for calling me for this interview on podcast okay so uh, my first question would be that what was your prime motivation for appearing for gate exam uh, initially i had no plans to give gate exam uh, due to the setback from the je examinations and then uh, my uncle who is an iit karakpur graduate he asked me to do masters in ai or cyber security so i searched in internet about universities and uh, universities in india as well so i got to know about iis is the only college that offer in its offering cyber, cyber security which is cryptography as well as artificial intelligence so right. then i checked then i checked what is the entry point for the iis so it was gate so i had to give the guest uh, and uh, i have to give gate to enter the iis so i started preparing for gate uh, so it was in your uh, during your btech time you have decided this one right which year yes, sir i uh, i have decided uh, in the third year starting uh, it's the time period when gate started their applications for the next year so i had okay. applied at the same time as well okay now if you briefly tell about your whole journey uh, of gate preparation since your third year till uh, this year how was the overall journey yeah i started my preparation uh, in third year ending it was just a one month preparation and uh, actually no preparation at all i gave it uh, to check how the difficulty of gate paper would be so uh, when i got to the camp, uh, exam center uh, the question paper i have seen the entire pattern and get to know about it surprisingly the rank that the in third year was uh, very well that is 1956 a 1956 uh, so it gave me boost and then again one year later i tried it again in my final year i got uh, a 186 still i didn't get any colleges in that time so i had to take a drop uh, and present my drop and then again start preparing for gate and gave this year this year i got i 24 in gate 2024 in csc so i get into iisc for the rank with uh, an interview i mean the interview like a written test in iisc so i get into iisc by by the rank that's it okay so you know uh, as you said in the third year you have just prepared for one month and appear for gate then you decide that in the fourth year also you'll be you know preparing for gate because you, you were comfortable you got a 1900 rank the first attempt that was giving you a boost so how do you prepare in the fourth year because many of the student has this question that how will i prepare along with my college so how is your preparation strategy for for the fourth year for the fourth year actually i am also very busy with internships i am doing an internship at triple a hyderabad then and then i am also placement coordinator in my college and i also have to sit for placements there is a huge uh, 
uh, time inconsistency with my preparation still i managed to do uh, two hours three hours preparation at the end of the uh, year and i studied around three months uh, that's it uh, i think everyone can do it if they keep at least four hours per day because i kept three hours per day and still i managed to score 186 with a lot of troubles in between and um, gaps in between so in the final year i uh, i managed those things with uh, allocating specifically some time in the early mornings or in the evenings uh, in the night every night so no one will disturb you and we can study for it so with that 186 rank you got in the fourth year i mean are you not applying to other iits or i mean what was your goal i mean which are the iits you are focusing on because People may think that with 186 rank, probably they should get some offer. But what was your, you know, plan that time? Actually, uh, I was not expecting that 186 rank when I gave it. Uh, I gave my gate with fever and cold. Uh, the easy temperature and all everything in the exam center made it terrible to write the exam. So when I came out of the uh, out of the exam center, I I said to my dad that I will be giving gate next year because this will be horrible than the last year. I won't even get the 2000 rank that I gave, uh, I got, that I got last year. So then after result, uh, I checked that it is 186. So now I'm in a dilemma to get into IAC or IITs, like top three IITs I'm focusing on. Hmm. Uh, because I am from a type three college or maybe not even type three. Uh, the college didn't give me much. Uh, so I'm expecting much. I don't want to compromise again as I did in my uh, intermediate. So I'm trying for the best uh, and I applied for all IITs except Kanpur. I think the date has missed up and I got offers from Karakpur, Guwahati, Hyderabad and Roorkee. I didn't get any offers from IIC, IIT Delhi, Bombay or uh, Madras. So okay. I have to give next year. Okay, I understand. I mean your focus was that you'll be getting at least IIC or IIT Bombay and that's fair only because you know final think you're getting 186 and I think your goal for and your main motivation was to get into ISC for cybersecurity AI, so I can understand it. So that's why you have decided that you'll be going for another chance. So uh, then, you know, as you said that you have joined the job and then I think started preparing after your, you know, BTEC is over. So how was that journey and when did you decide to quit your job and prepare fully for 2024, this year, Kate? Uh, actually, I was in the job for internship and then okay. in the mid of June, the uh, first round has finished for the COPE for that year, 2023. And I got uh, Hyderabad offer, IIT Hyderabad offer. So I am working in Hyderabad. So I visited Hyderabad campus, on campus, and asked seniors, they're studying their AI branch and as well as CSE branch, about how is IIT Hyderabad <coughs> and I should join it or not. And they actually suggested me that it is not worth it to join here with that rank because I can do better mm. next year. And as well, uh, my brother's friend, uh, he is Harshavadan, he is also a gate ranker. He also suggested me to take a break because I have a lot, lot, lot of things to do. Even my SC role cannot help me to get into the AI roles. It is it, The experience that I get in SC role doesn't matter for the AI roles anyway. So right. he asked me to uh, take a uh, move if I could. So I asked my parents and they were okay with uh, my drop and uh, no financial pressure on me so i was happy to take a drop and prepared for the full time and also i want to brush up my things uh, like in mathematics i'm very poor at math so i have to brush up those things for ai especially so i can explore as well so i thought to drop it and uh, full time prepare up from uh, august 2023 Okay, so August 2023 till february 2024 it was a full time preparation so yeah, how, how did really so how did you prepare in these you know six to seven months probably so how was extra what are the extra you were doing than the last year i think actually uh, as i said i only prepared last year three months i didn't give any test mm -hmm. last time okay. so this time i thought to go from basics so i started with mass i joined uh, go classes uh, coaching i i took entire mass from engineering uh, district math from go classes and engineering math from professor kimberly's youtube channel and okay. those gave me heavy uh, mathematical foundation that I acquired in the entire kit. Uh, one thing that in a, most of them miss out is uh, they prepare aptitude at the last. But I prepared aptitude in the very beginning so I could do better maths in the entire kit questions. And I started from scratch. I followed the study uh, materials from the 
Pro classes as well as standard books. And also I followed NPTEL lecture. So those all things uh, made it very perfectly. But when I came to the end, like January, uh, I got myself, uh, I doubted myself that can I even get 186 this year? So I had to give more tests. I actually gave the actual gate papers as the test. So that helped me a lot. Okay. And did you appear for any mock tests uh, this time? Uh, I appeared few mock tests which are freely available in every platform so that I get a gist of everything, uh, different portions. And uh, I think I performed very poor in those the tests because okay. most of the tests are not so good, very well done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have seen. I mean, the mock test result, very often they converge into the final result because the quality of question actually varies from mock test to the final question paper. And also, there are a lot of mistakes I have seen in many mock test question papers. So that's why, yes, you know, people are quite confused when they're appearing for the mock test and they can't do well in the uh, in those mock tests. So I have just one additional question I want to ask you that you are saying, right, you have a, I mean, when you're preparing, one question was keep on in your mind that whether I am able to beat my 186 rank throughout, maybe throughout this six, seven months that was, you know, keep on coming into your mind. So what was, how you were motivating yourself or how you were keep on preparing when these kind of uh, thoughts uh, is keep on coming into your mind? Yeah, uh, actually the groups that I joined in Telegram as well are demotivating as well because they are preparing very heavily and I am not okay. even at 10% to their uh, preparation levels. All these doubts came into mind and uh, uh, I was like, I have got, I have resigned my job. I have taken everything. Even I have a 186 rank as a backup. So what can go wrong? So if I give the best, maybe I'll get the best. Or if I don't get the best, I'll take granted that uh, I can't get good rank than this. So I gave it like, uh, OK, yeah, I think, yeah, that's, that, that can be a motivation that you already have a rank. So there is nothing much to lose. Whatever you can yeah. do is the better than that. Okay. Now, how was your experience of the exam day? Because, you know, most of the time people prepare a lot, but they mess up in the final day. So what was your preparation before that day or probably when you were appearing for the exam? What kind of uh, things was going on in your mind? It's actually the day before day, uh, the day before the exam day. There was a festival beside my home, which is distracting me a lot. Uh, okay. With the drums and all. That is promo song I call. Uh, then I have to take a rent uh, outside my village to stay and keep calm, keep focused. I didn't have studied anything on the day before. I just wanted to keep calm and relax for the day. So I rented a room outside my village and then went to the campus after day. And before going to my exam hall, my father gave me a small advice that uh, keep lookout for me to mark me. And that gave me a really uh, uh, motivation or boost. Or I think and also I drank a lot of coffee be because my exam is on in afternoon and I ate oh. too many chocolates because <laughs> not to sleep be awake. Yeah, I, I can understand that. And uh, because I, yeah, I have appeared for gate I think four times. Uh, I think three times or two times it was in the afternoon and I didn't know perform well. But two times it was the I mean the, the best I perform in the morning. Yeah. So afternoon it's very difficult to perform after heavy lunch. And also I took my health uh, very good care because last time the fever and cold gave me a really right, hard right. time but in the game. Because only one day the one day it is and uh, it yeah. it shouldn't be taken granted that we are good okay in that time period. You have to be careful enter the preparation. Right. And now, you know, you have given gate and you realize that you are getting this all India rank. So how is your feeling after you see the result? Actually, it was like a slow poison getting into now. Slowly, slowly and getting understand that I'm, I'm a rank now. Uh, it was not believable at the first time. Uh, I have, I have a lot of doubts actually because the paper was easy and the ranks were fluctuating. Everything is going like that. But slowly, I get, I got to understand. And, uh, it's like a Jersey train moment from the movie. Uh, you know. So he achieves something that he couldn't uh, do, and he enjoys a lot. So that's what my I, okay. One one question. Yeah, I forgot to ask here that whether you appear in Gate CSE or Gate DA or both. I applied for both. I attempted both because 
gate paper was early so i want to check how the exam center and exam things are going so i gave it like a mock test the actual gate okay. as a mock test and okay. uh, surprisingly i got 724 rank in that as well because okay. i didn't even prepare for gate ea most of the syllabus is gate cs syllabus and i didn't actually give much focus as well and uh, i think the intersection part from gate ea and cs is a lot more uh, Lot more. Okay, now my final question would be that any message for the future gate aspirants? I would suggest to take care of their health first and studies next, and then don't take too much stress about uh, thinking a lot of things. Maybe relax a bit in between the exam, uh, you know, mock test or preparation. And final thing would be keep surrounded by suggesters uh, who really encourages you rather than congratulators. Who come okay. in the end? <laughs> I can understand this. <laughs> yeah, your surrounding actually matters more because most of people actually will demotivate you until you become, uh, until you succeed. And there are very few people who will actually encourage you. And many of the times, you are the only one who will encourage you. Yeah, my parents very uh, very supportive in this matter. I think uh, this gate rank and all goes to them. They is their success than mine. No. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mahant, again for participating in this podcast, and I really enjoyed. I mean, this journey overall, whatever his journey is, and his dedication that even after getting one eighty six, that if someone is really focusing about getting IIC Bangalore, because his primary motivation was motivation for gate preparation was IIC Bangalore. So this dedication that I'll go keep on pushing myself till I get my desire, and that is something I think will motivate all the students who will be appearing for gate in coming years. So thank you, Mohan, again for participating, and I wish you all the best for your new journey to IIC Bangalore. Hopefully, we'll meet when I will visit IIC Bangalore, as we keep on meeting people when I visit there. So yeah, that's it about this video. Uh, we'll meet again in the next video. Until then, bye.